All right, this one's gonna be on Vim folding using the markers method. Uh, if you watch my first video on folding, um, I don't really recommend that one. I think it was manual, and that one's stupid because it's not very portable. Like uh, what I mean by that is if you take your files that you apply the fold to and put that on another computer, you won't be able to see your uh, folds, okay? Because it, the fold that you did on there, it actually saves to an external folder into your Vim slash view folder. And I mean, you could export it like a, a special way, but it takes too much time and it's stupid, okay? So I probably recommend using this one um, called markers. So the first thing you wanna do is, let me see here. Oops, wrong one. Vim RC, there you go. All right, go in here and you wanna set your fold method to markers. So all you gotta do is uh, put this code in there. All right, just put that sucker in there. And what this will do is it will detect uh, your files. So let me give you a file example here. So it will detect your files here. Uh, when you have uh, an opening three brackets and closing three brackets. So say for example, if you want to do this manually, you can just type it out, you know, opening three brackets and what is that? Closing three brackets. And there you go. You apply the fold. You can always hit ZA and you can see your, your fold that you just created, right? Uh, you can do this visually. So we can do, uh, what's that? visual lines here and we'll do ZF and there you go we have our fold um let's do another one here let's go down to here ZF and there you go you can create folds either uh, manually or visual mode and all that um if you want to do nested folds so we have three folds here right one two three you can always nested them and uh, do another fold on top of those so ZF and there you go, see, so it's nested, and then when you do that, you can expand that. So that's it for that, but the important part, like I said, is you need to have um, this three brackets here, and a closing three brackets, and that's how it'll recognize um, that you're doing a fold. And the good thing about this, like I said, is that it's in a single file, it's not like in an external place or whatever. So, um, you know, it's, it's in your code and you don't have to worry about doing a special export or any of that with the manual one, which I think is stupid. And you, there's also different methods like syntax and all that, but that's only if maybe you're a programmer. I, I don't really program anything. I just use this for my uh, configuration files. So that's why it makes sense for me. Anyways, uh, if you want to use that, go ahead. Really, really great way to uh, organize your, um, you know, either your code or your configuration files if it's too long uh, like in your bash rc or zsh rc or whatever it is so that's it if you're a vim user go ahead and use that get out of here